Hi, my name is Austin Haney. I'm a freshwater mussel technician. I enjoy freshwater mussels because it allows me to do some uh, sampling that I really enjoy doing. I love scuba diving. That's something that I recently learned how to do. Uh, and we also just get to spend a lot of time out on the lakes and rivers uh, to get them. And they're just a very diverse group of animals uh, and wildlife that we've seen around in Georgia. And it's just cool to go out and find them, uh, experience that in the rivers and streams and uh, reservoirs like we are today. Peter Dimmick, I'm an aquatics technician with the Georgia DNR. Uh, I think for me, the love of mussels is the, uh, the search, you know, trying to, to find them. I love to collect things and there's a little moment of joy when you come across that shell and you feel that thing and pull it out. And So it's, uh, I think that's what it is. I'm uh, Matthew Rowe. I'm a freshwater invertebrate biologist for uh, the wildlife conservation section of the Department of Natural Resources here in Georgia. Freshwater mussels are a really interesting uh, group of animals. A lot of people don't even know they exist, and they are uh, one of the most rapidly declining groups of animals in the world. So freshwater mussels globally, um, uh, about 70% of them are imperiled at some level. Uh, we also have a lot of extinctions and, uh, and a lot of listed species now for the, under the Endangered Species Act. We are working on some freshwater mussel surveys out here on Lake Jackson. They are a really understudied group of organisms. So what we're doing out here is looking for, in particular, uh, a couple of species which uh, have been identified as species of concern. So they haven't been listed yet, but they could potentially be. The one we're most interested in is the uh, Altamaha uh, arc mussel. We are looking for the delicate spike, the inflated floater, and the savanna lilliput. Um, and these four species are pretty rare in the Altamaha Basin, uh, and some of them are, are endemic to this, to this basin, so they occur nowhere else, uh, and they are um, generally rare globally. So we're just trying to assess their populations here in the reservoir, um, and also elsewhere in the, uh, in the system. So there's a couple of different ways that we can, we can look for freshwater mussels uh, in sort of rockier habitat in, in flowing water. We tend to do it visually with uh, snorkeling. This kind of situation where uh, visibility is, uh, is in question often, uh, we tend to do a tactile survey, which means we basically close our eyes and do this uh, through the mud. We, uh, we've already got our, our wetsuits on. These are environmental protection. Um, it's going to be pretty cold, so uh, we want to try and keep our body heat in our body. We got our dive rigs already sort of assembled here, uh, but we'll put our gear on. Uh, we've already done a little bit of a transect here with our side scan sonar to make sure that there aren't any major obstacles down there that we're going to run into, uh, big trees or debris or anything like that, uh, sunken treasure ships, whatever. We're going to load up with our, our scuba gear. We'll uh, enter the water. So we're going to get a bearing on the compass, which we'll be following throughout our survey. Uh, we'll move our way forward running our hands through the mud uh, and they can burrow fairly deeply in the mud so we want to try and get uh, at least a few inches deep um, and we sort of develop a search image um, in your in your mind of what a muscle feels like um, and at, with some practice you can get really good at, at identifying them uh, anything that we find that looks like a muscle will kind of have a feel of it to see if we're right and if it is it'll go in a collecting bag and we'll just slowly work our way uh, along our transect for about 15 minutes we run a timed um, survey, so we do 30 minutes for two people makes, makes one person hour of effort. Um, so we'll do a 15 minute transect, we'll pop up uh, just so that we know where we are because it's pretty easy to get confused. Um, and then we will pick a new bearing uh, from that position and we'll, we'll go back down and then work that. Uh, we will come up at the end of our, our full half hour um, we will arrange all of the mussels out um, on the deck and we'll start collecting data. So we do uh, photographs of each of the collections. So we take a picture of the whole collection, then we take a picture of a representative species from each uh, of each species that we collect, an individual from each species. Uh, and then we will take their, their length. Uh, we'll look to see if the females are gravid, so that will be if they're holding any eggs or uh, larva. Um, and then we will uh, identify them. We'll take pictures of the site. Um, we'll get our um, GPS position uh, and then we will return the mussels to the substrate. Uh, as part of a, a cooperative agreement between a, a few stakeholders, um, it's uh, the Georgia Department of Natural Resources, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and uh, another major uh, cooperator is, the, uh, is Georgia Power. It's a, a brand new program that is looking at addressing conservation issues for rare species um, while it's the most uh, effective time to to act which is before they get listed so these are animals which could potentially become candidates for listing so by doing work now we can identify 
any kind of management options that we can pursue or conservation measures that would prevent them from becoming listed. In, in Georgia, um, in particular, they are a really important indicator of habitat quality. So freshwater mussels, uh, they, they don't move around very much. So if they are uh, occurring in a place, it means that that place has not exceeded their, their tolerance uh, for, for life. So the oxygen hasn't gotten too low, the, uh, the uh, contaminants haven't gotten too high, um, and, and they, so if we find our mussels there, we know that that area has remained relatively healthy. Um, they're fairly sensitive to things like uh, destabilization of the river bottom. So uh, construction, um, straightening of the river, construction of like dams, bridges, things like that are, are very detrimental to, uh, to our freshwater mussels. So we're particularly interested in monitoring the, um, the distribution and the population uh, numbers of our uh, freshwater mussels in the state to try and uh, maintain those, those numbers. Uh, it lets us monitor uh, the, the habitat quality and it lets us maintain our, our, our rare uh, and uh, diverse mussel populations here in Georgia.